Hello everyone. So in this session, we are going to see about the touch link. In that, we are going to see the sliders. So to study that, I am going to take one object from this tool and just keep it over here. Fine. And uh, just click on this. Already we have seen this touch link user inputs, right? Just uncheck that. Now we are going to see this sliders. Fine. So what exactly this sliders will do? I will tell you. So this is the slider. Fine. So whenever I am changing this, it will be changing the value of the tank. This Imagine this is a tank. I will keep it over here. And what I am going to do means I am going to give this analog fill color also. Already we have given vertical fill. We will give this also. I am just giving the breakpoints. Here our slider range is 0 to 100, right? So let's give some range here. It should be the increasing order, okay? This and all we have already seen. It should be increasing order. And choose our slider. And I'm just giving some colors. Let it be as blue. Give blue for all. That's it. Okay. Right. So this is also slider, right? So for the complete, uh, you know, for this complete object, I have given the slider. Or else I'll do one thing. This one we have broke for the previous session. See, all the objects are separate, separate. Fine. See, everything is separate. So let's take one more new slider. Keep it here. And for this, give the value as slider. Fine. So now this is also slider and this is also slider. Correct. So whenever I am changing the value from 0 to 100, this value, this tank level will be changing. Correct. This one we have seen already. Fine. This one we have known already whenever I am changing the value from 0 to 100, the tank level will be changing. This is fine. But in some cases, if you couldn't able to change this, if you couldn't able to change the slider in online, wait, I'll show in the runtime. See, this is zero, no? If you are changing this value, the tank level is also changing, correct? See, it is changing. In this runtime, suppose you couldn't, you are not supposed to change this one. You are not supposed to change this one, but you want to increase the tank level means you should have some other options also fine and that option is this slider i'll tell you just click on this object okay make this to yeah keep it here click on this object go for sliders it is having two options one is vertical another one is horizontal so first go for vertical get ins inside that it is asking a tag name go for same tag name and this is the range okay slider range fine and now just check it out it is having some reference location what is this reference location means from where it should move so i'm going with the default default is bottom let's go with default go for runtime so if this will be act as a slider if you move this down can you see the tank level is increasing so it is like the another option to change the slider okay since we have given the reference location as down i mean bottom whenever you are moving the object to downside it is increasing if you increase up it will decrease you cannot move upside towards this because reference location is towards bottom now if you change the reference location to top you 
you need to increase upside just wait select that I think it was not selected properly go back vertical yeah so it, it was mentioned as stop only but that was not happened correct so one thing I have not done what is that mean see it was a bottom setup correct initially it was bottom and the values were like this whenever you are going for the top location you need to change top is 100 and this is 0 you need to change this okay whenever you are changing the reference location you need to change this also make it as 0 go for ok go for ok now go for runtime it will be changing okay right so this is vertical slider like that you can make horizontal slider also disable this go for horizontal and select the tag so make it as left left means 0 0 starting at left right means 100 okay if you are changing this to right you need to change this interchange this You need to move towards right side. You cannot move up or down. You should move right or left. So this is act as a vertical, uh, sorry, horizontal slider. Fine. And apart from the reference location, right, left, top and bottom, we are having one more right. What is that? Which is center. Okay. So center means according to that you need to change the value whether you are moving towards right or moving towards left what exactly you want to do that settings you need to do so now check it out it will be works like this okay so how you are giving from right to left you want or left to right you want according to that the center location will be happening same thing for vertical also vertical is having middle also here also according to the range you are giving it will be moving from the middle right so this slider animation link is the alternate option for the slider movement you can make any object you can take from symbol factory uh, object also you can take and you can make use of it fine right so just practice this in the software guys so in the next session we'll see about this touch push button already we have seen this show window the remaining three we'll see in the next session. Fine? Yeah. I'll meet you in the next session. Bye.